soul over there. Like What's up, everybody? Right it's Gabe. Day one of the Trans Superior, and we are a couple hours short of exiting Whitefish Bay. And it's pretty dismal, very gray, as far as the eye can see, pretty much. A couple boats behind us. Haven't really gained or lost much ground today so far. Dad is happy with that skipper back there, so that's all that really matters. I don't know if that comes up, but there it is. Well, hello again. In the Copa Uh, I think it's calmed down a little bit. Wind's down to about four or five knots. Uh, we're pretty much pulling up the rear of the field here. Uh, but we're making some dinner, so couldn't be too bad. Uh, probably can't see that. There's a boat off to our starboard. We have the spinnaker up right now, as you can see. And we have a three boats to the fore. And another one to the rear. Pretty far back. So we're not dead last. Just yet. Um, forecast for the night is for things to die down. Can't get much worse than this. For lack of wind. But... I won't complain too much since nighttime is not exactly where we shine, so we'll just hope that keeps up. Gabe signing off. So here we are again on the Copacetic, uh, Trans Superior 2009. Uh, we're inside right now. Uh, yes, I am wearing a helmet. Uh, this is one of Mr. Dad, Captain Dad's approved safety devices. Uh, since Conceivably, at night, only one of us will be on deck. I uh, also have these spiffy flotation jackets, automatic deployment, etc., etc., safety tie-ins. Um, inside's pretty plain, um, kind of hard to capture on this little camera. We have dinner boiling over. Quarter berths, V berth up in the very bow. Right now it's just got nothing in it pretty much. Um, the head, you can't really see hiding behind here. I'm not a big fan, so I won't show it to you. Full down table, full berth, quarter berth again, full of storage right at the moment. We do have a radio on board, never use it. Old school Loran C, marine radio. Uh, backup handhelds, air horns, pretty much uh, Department of Redundancy Department when it comes to stuff on a sailboat race. Um, autopilot's training away right now, still running the spinnaker, pretty low wind. Eperb hiding there, just in case of a real emergency. Uh, that's kind of the quick tour of the boat. Uh, cockpit out there with our comfy cushions. Looking lovely. Well, good morning on Sunday, day two, Trans Superior 09, about 10 a.m., and we are still in the fog. As you can see, although it is a bit clear above us, and it's a lot thinner than it was last night. Uh, not a whole lot to report since. Last time it was an interesting night, lots of thunder and lightning all night, a couple of bursts of wind, but for the most part pretty slow. It's, uh, it was much too wet to use the camera last night, so I didn't. Uh, back to just a jib and a mainsail on this lovely day. It's. Uh, Pleasantly cold 60 degrees in the middle of the lake. As you can see me wearing my exposure suit. Keeping me warm here. Kinda hard to stay warm and dry all at the same time, but we do our best. Uh, hit a doldrum this morning. 
I motored for about an hour just to get back into some wind. Hopefully that won't cost us dearly in the end. Um, but we're moving along at uh, kind of plottingly slow four and a half knots, so that's about all there is to report for now. Uh, freighter coming up behind us at some time during the day. And that's about all we know in terms of traffic. Uh, earlier this morning, probably about five, there were two boats ahead of us and two to the stern that we could see other sailboats. Uh, earlier when we were going through a clear spot, all we had was one to the stern. So kind of hard to tell what other people are doing, but we're having fun, so that's what matters. Well, good afternoon from the Copacetic. Uh, it's about a little after 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Sunday, uh, day 2 of Transperia. Um, the upside is, as you can probably tell, uh, the sun came out finally. Uh, downside is, the wind went away just as fast as the sun came out. So, as you can probably hear in the background, uh, we're motoring, which means we are out of the race, so to speak. Uh, no longer competitive, so... Uh, ups and downs, I guess. Um, the upside is, it won't take us eight hours to get to Copper Harbor from where we're at. Uh, we should be there uh, within the next two or three hours instead. Uh, I can start to see a little bit of land off the bow. Probably Rockaway Mountain and the other mountains out towards the tip. Uh, which is nice to see land for a change, not just fog. Nice part, we got to dry things out a little bit with the sun, take off all the suits and the clothes and everything. Still smokingly uh, under armor, but uh, at least it's dry. So, probably gonna ship in at Copper Harbor, uh, take a status check there and uh, see what we want to do, gas up, and uh, determine where we go from there. So, uh, I guess we'll go from there. Well, good morning again from our failed attempt at Trans Superior 09. It's about uh, 7 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday now. Uh, it's a beautiful day out here so far. Uh, woke up to the glassy, smooth Lake Superior. Cornucopia guessed up, um, and now we're uh, about 12 miles from Duluth Footbridge, the official finish line, where we'll be uh, going and uh, dropping off our beacons and all that good stuff, see where everybody else is uh, 
coverage, cell phone coverage. Uh, Dad talked to Jane earlier. Uh, apparently about half the field is actually in Duluth already. So they must have had a win that we didn't. Uh, everybody else is still behind us as far as we know. I haven't really seen anybody out here today, surprisingly. So I guess we'll see when we get there. Uh, other than that, uh, probably the last you'll hear from me from the boat. So it's been fun. Uh, we'll have to do it again sometime, maybe with more wind, hopefully.